Hey everyone, today I'm going to share with you what's in my bag when I want to do any memory keeping while traveling. Now this could be for scrapbooking traditionally in an album or documenting in a traveler's notebook or journal. And um, we currently don't have any plans to go anywhere, but when we do, these are items that I will always bring with me. And I do memory keeping when we have a bit of downtime, um, just to make sure that I'm enjoying time with my family first and foremost. So anyway, I hope this gives you some ideas if you would like to do the same. Um, and I hope you enjoy it. So if we go anywhere for more than a couple of days, let's say about a week or so, um, I like to bring my supplies in a makeup bag. Um, this one here is a train case that I purchased from TJ Maxx and it's by a brand called Kestrel. That's quite compact, um, compact enough that I can throw it in my backpack um, a large tote bag or whatever I use as a carry-on if we're on a um, plane um, but it holds quite a lot of supplies and it's got two different compartments and I love the material so um, it's easy to clean right now I'll go ahead and I'll take everything out of the bag show you the supplies that I bring and then repack the bag so you can see how it all fits the first thing I do is pick out the traveler's notebook or journal that I would like to take with me on our trip. If I find that I want to do a bit of traditional scrapbooking, um, instead of these, I'll go ahead and I'll bring a 6x8 album um, with some pocket pages in it and a 6x6 paper pad. I like to bring a variety of pens when we travel. So here we have a simple paper mate flex grip that you can find at Staples or Office Depot. And um, I just find this to be my favorite pen to journal with because of the ultra fine point. And I have the Uniball Signal in white. This one here is perfect if you've got inserts that have craft or black paper. And to write on washi tape, you can use this Ippo pen by Tombow. And then I have a couple of different Sharpies. Um, so this is just the medium point Sharpie pen in black. And this is the Sharpie permanent marker in gold metallic. And for a bit of color, I have some markers here. These are Stabilo. Um, mini markers and I have it in 0.4 millimeters as well as one millimeter roller stamps this one here is from Amy Tangerine and this is from her Oh Happy Life collection this one has the days of the week so it's perfect This is from Crate Papers um, here in their collection. Another Amy Tangerine stamp, and this is her Icons one, and this is from the Sunshine and Good Times collection. And I always have um, a date stamp. This one here is from Mombi or the Happy Planner, and this actually stamps both the date and time. A pair of scissors. This here is my favorite um, from EK Tools. It's their precision scissors. And um, I love bringing this when we go on trips. Um, but because they are not blunt tipped, I don't wanna risk getting them taken away from me if we are on a plane. So I'll either pack this in my check-in luggage if we have one, um, or I'll just go ahead and I'll pack um, a cheap pair of scissors. And these I got from Daiso, and I believe they're actually nail clippers. Um, a glue stick and a tape runner. Stapler. Washi cards. So for here, I just select um, a few of my favorite washi and wrap them around this plastic card that I purchased online and um, that way they're also easy to pack up in my bag. This one here is a general travel theme and depending on where we're going like let's say Disneyland 
I'll also do another card um, with washi that I think will go great with the location. So if we were going to Disneyland, this would be what I would bring. And um, this one here, I was going for a more vintage Disney look. So this allows me to have a variety of washi without having it bring a whole bunch of rolls. Stickers and some ephemera. Journal cards or post-its. Acrylic stamping blocks. A couple of my favorite inks, stamp cleaners, Ziploc bags to corral any ephemera that I might collect while on our trip. Sometimes I'll bring an accordion folder and this is just easier if I have a lot of ephemera that I'm collecting um, because this one has slots so I can just use one slot for each day and I could just easily stick them in here and I didn't do it for this one but you can also use stickers and um, put them on the tabs here so you know exactly what day the ephemera came from so this one is from our Japan trip and lastly is my photo printer this one here is the HP Sprocket. So I have my printer, uh, extra packs of film, and my charger. The case I purchased from Amazon, I believe it was about $10. And it's, it's still a little new, so that's why it's a little hard to zip up and zip open, but um, it's quite sturdy. So for shorter trips, like a weekend away, I will just put my supplies in this plastic document holder. This one I purchased from Daiso, but if you can't find it there, um, you can find it at Staples or Office Depot or even Amazon. And so to save space, I will bring one or maybe even two inserts instead of the entire traveler's notebook or journal. A pen multicolored pen and this one I purchased from Daiso so I would pack this in place of my Stabilo markers um, if I want to add some color to my uh, traveler's notebook or journal scissors glue stick a mini stapler my stamps and I'll take these with me still, um, just because they don't take up that much room. A small ink cube. Acrylic block. And for roller stamps, I'll just take a date stamp. A chamois to clean my stamps with. Um, so this one you just wet and then you just um, wipe the ink off of your stamps. And I have used this, obviously. But it folds up nicely. Washi cards, journal cards or post-its, my Ziploc bags, and my photo printer.
what I will just go ahead and I'll bring a cheap pair of scissors like this. And this is from Daiso. I believe they're... Excellent. Excellent. 